Hey everybody, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Hmm, we used to say 2020. 2021. Today, we're gonna make chum. I'm gonna do some fishing tomorrow at the bridge for some snapper and sheep's head. And I decided to make a chum block so that way I can use it while I'm out in the kayak tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna show you my way. It may not be the traditional way, but it is my way, it works, and I'm gonna show you how it's made. Okay, so the ingredients are simple. Two tubs of quick oats, two cans of Jack Mac, two eggs, some oil, and a cup of flour, and your favorite beverage. So let's get going. Start with the oats. All right, so I used two tubs of quick oats. Uh, one of them I leave whole, I don't touch it at all. The other one I put in the blender and I grind it up into fine particles. It allows it to disperse a lot quicker and you don't have to wait as long for the big stuff to start breaking off. So very simple, I'm just gonna take both of them, dump them into the bucket, doesn't matter which order you do it because it's all gonna get mixed in together, okay? So now that we got the oats in there, I'll put this to the side because we're gonna use that to put the finished product in and then into the freezer. So that way when I get to my fishing spot, I can take the blocks out of here, put it into my bag and I'm ready to fish. I don't have to worry about bringing Tupperware and all this extra stuff. And then these things, you can just crumble them up and put them in your trash can, in your truck, your car, or wherever you're launching your kayak or your boat, or even at the pier. So always hold on to these. The next ingredient I'm gonna put in is gonna be the oil. I like to use a half a cup. Uh, because I'm using so much oats, I want to put in a half a cup. This is really going to help with the Jack Mac because the Jack Mac is pretty oily itself. Uh, this oil is also going to create a really good oil slick and it's going to help retain that flavor and that scent from the Jack Mac and uh, create that good trail. That's what you want. You want a nice greasy trail for the fish to find and follow and hold on to. Just dump it in. Next, we'll put in the flour. I use a cup of flour. This is gonna help bind everything, hold it together. Uh, just like you do with bacon, you know, it just helps hold things together. So I'll go ahead and throw that in there. Now, two eggs. I put them in shell and all because it's gonna get mixed around and crumbled up. So the whole egg, just like that. Frost them up, get them in there. Now, the Jack Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a can opener and open these up. I'll be right back. Now that I got the two cans of Jack Mac open, the stuff smells like tuna fish. It's just basically big chunks of mackerel. And you can see the dark coloration of the meat basically means it's a really oily fish, which is good. It's what you want. It's gonna hold a lot of oil and it's also gonna create that slick as well as the oil that we put in there. It's gonna help boost and enhance that slick drawing in the fish and holding on to them, keeping them in the strike zone longer, allowing you to catch more fish, all right? So, now we're gonna take these two cans and dump them right in with the rest of the stuff that we have in there. Now the fun part, mixing this stuff. Stick around. Let's take a look at the inside of this. As you can see, everything in there, before you mix it, looks, well, disgusting. The Jack Mac has enough liquid in it, so that way when you mix it, it should be a nice thick consistency without having to add any additional water. But you won't know until after you mix it up. So let's go ahead and mix it and see how this stuff comes out. All right, so I went ahead and mounted you on my head so you can see the inside. This isn't gonna be pretty. Take off your jewelry. Make sure your hands are not full of all kinds of stuff that this nastiness can get into. So we're gonna dive right in and we're gonna mix this all up. Just get in there and go to town with it. Don't be afraid, because if you're afraid, you're not gonna make your own chum. If you don't make your own chum, the fish won't come. Now, as you can see, as I mix it, this stuff becomes almost like a clay consistency. And that's what you want. You want it to be thick. The thicker it is, the longer it's going to hold together in your chum bag. And the longer it's going to take to disperse and get out there. You want to have your chum block last as long as you can possibly have it last. Because, let's be real, 
the longer something sticks around, the longer you can play with it, right? If your chum is too watery and too thin, it's going to be gone as soon as the ice melts, and then you're really not going to have a long time in, in the zone with the fish and allowing them to eat what you're giving them on your hook. If that makes any sense, I don't know. But look, as you can see, it's like clay, okay? That's what you want. And when you use the Jack Mac, and that's why I like to use it, is because you don't have to add any extra water. You're almost guaranteed to get the right consistency every single time. Okay, look at that. There you go. That's the chum. Now we're going to go ahead and take this out, put it in the buckets, the tubs that they came in, and uh, we'll throw them in the freezer. And then tomorrow morning we'll take you out and we'll show you how this stuff works. Now that I got this mixed up really good, it's pretty much... Got a consistency where I could pull the whole thing out in one clump. So I just want to take it and put it into the oat buckets or the oat containers that the oats came in. Press it down nice and tight, nice and packed. You don't want to have any air in there. You want it to be a solid block, okay? Solid block. This stuff stinks, so just make sure your wife, your husband, whoever, is not going to get mad at you for making this stuff in the house. Nice, solid block, okay? And I made a mess, but that's okay because that's what disinfecting wipes and soap is for, <laughs> to clean it up. And get every last bit of this deliciousness out of the bucket in my case cooler and this stuff like I said it's like paste it just doesn't come off All right. and that there are my two chum blocks that's how I do it it works it works all the time very rarely do I go out and use chum blocks and not catch a ton of fish and uh, that's that. I use Jack Mac. You can use shrimp, you can use clams, you can use oysters, you can use sardines, but I use Jack Mac and you should too. So I'm gonna go ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these, put them in the freezer, let them get nice and hard. And tomorrow I'm gonna head out to the bridge. We're gonna catch some fish and I'll show you what that looks like on the video after. So until then, again, happy new year. and Let's have fun fishing. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Tampa Bay Kayak Fishing. See you next time.